All right, now I have done my chain and my first row. And I wanna just kind of show you those little braid looking thing on the top. That's what we're gonna be putting our hooks into. So we're gonna turn it over like this so I can pair to crochet again. Get my yarn in the right place, my hook in the right place, my tail down here go away and then the yarn going to my ball is I usually keep the ball of yarn in, if I'm wearing a hoodie, put it in my hoodie pocket. So first thing we're gonna do, remember we need to build that staircase first. We're going to do one chain. Ooh, flip it over. So we're gonna do that one chain, which is my staircase. There we go. And then I'm not gonna skip anything. I'm gonna skip that chain, but I'm not gonna skip this first stitch, this first, like single crochet stitch. So notice I'm putting both, I'm putting my hook under both of those loops. Okay, so it kind of looks like a little teardrop again with this little, I don't know, another teardrop hanging off it. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, so putting underneath that whole like braid section. Okay, I'm gonna wrap around and then I'm going to pull through two, wrap around again and pull through one, pull through two. Okay. I'm going to go to my next one. So that was one. Here's two. Go through two, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around again, pull through two. So that's two. Go on to three. So it's basically single, single, single increase. So we're going to go, oh, hold on. My yarn is splitting here. Hold on. There we go. So underneath two, underneath two. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of pulling this a little bit tighter. So it's kind of slotting into that little hook there. Okay. So I'm going to go. Oops, did I go underneath two? There we go. Underneath two, this is my three and where my increase is gonna go. Am I correct on that? So I've got one. Oh no, I'm trying to go into four, hold on. I must have made a mistake there. So I've got one, two, three. I should not go onto this next one yet. I'm gonna put my increase into the same one as three. Okay, so four is gonna go into the same place as three. So I got my yarn in there. I'm gonna go through both those loops. And now I have my increase. Good, okay. If you realize you've been forgetting increases, just start doing your increases after that. That's okay. Coral isn't perfect. And this is your first time crocheting. It doesn't need to be perfect. Even if you're a perfectionist like me, you don't need to be perfect. Okay, now I've got this is one again, we went underneath two, yarn over, pull through those two, yarn over again, and pull through those two. Now we're going on to two. So we go, oops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two. And now we're on three. Put through two loops there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two. Whoop. And let's see, where was I? So here was my increase. You can see there's two stitches in there, one, two. We got one, two, three. I gotta put my increase into the same place as three. And we're gonna count up how many stitches we have. Remember we started with eight. Let's see how many we have when we're done with this row. So yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two, and we have our increase. And then, oh, it looks like we're gonna end on an increase this time. So you have yarn over, oops, there you go. Pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two. And we're on the second stitch right now. So we have yarn over, Pull through two, yarn over again, 
pull through two. And my last one right here, is that it? Yep, there it is. This might be my chain stitch on the end. Eh, I'm still gonna use it. I don't think it is my chain stitch. So we pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're gonna do our increase in this one too. So we have, oh, come on. There we go, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so remember we started with eight. I'm gonna take my hook out. Now watch what I do when I take my hook out. I don't just take my hook out like this because if I do that, if this gets pulled at all, it's all gonna unravel, right? So what I do is I take my hook and I pull it way out like this. Okay, so I have this big floppy thing here. I can always tighten it down later, but this way, if this gets tugged a little bit, nothing's unraveling, okay? So we started with eight. Let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So every single row, you're gonna end up with more stitches. And you see that nice braid thing on the top there? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna Go start the next row, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to continue. I'm just going to get us started with the next row. So I have my hook on here. I'm going to turn my work. Like this. And what's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to do my chain stitch. That's my chain stitch. It's up my ladder, or my staircase to the next floor. And I'm going to do one pattern, and then I'm going to let you work on it. So go through two stitches. I guess two loops is what I meant to say, not two stitches. So that's one, two. Oh, uh-oh, hold on. We got major yarn splitting there. Hold on, let's try that again. All right, there we go. Two, finishing up two, and, oh, I bent my work there, hold on. And we're gonna do three. And our increase in the same one. And this is four. So if I'm crocheting while I'm walking around you ever, if you ever see me walking around, especially like during testing or something, and I'm crocheting, if I'm doing this this pattern, I am literally seeing those numbers in my head. Um, one, two, three, and four. Okay? And you can see it's already starting to bend. Now, as we do more and more ro rows on this, it's not just gonna keep bending. It's gonna start getting ripply, so it's gonna start doing like this pattern. So just be aware. That's why you wanna start out short, small like this, because then we can make it, you can kind of fold that in on itself and it's gonna get all ripply and big and cool as we make more and more layers on this. All right, and that is left-handed crocheting.